Hello, and welcome back to Astral Codex's channel. This is a short guide on Dragon Fable's Death Knight class, which you can acquire at the Necropolis. Death Knight is a powerful hybrid class that can either turtle with defensive skills and heals, or dish out massive damage at a large health cost. Death Knight has two main mechanics. The first mechanic is that the class becomes significantly stronger by equipping more Death Knight relics, both offensively and defensively. These relics can be acquired from Sir Malefact and further upgraded at the Zeklum's Keep in Challenge. In general, you only want to use the class with 5 or 6 relics equipped. The second mechanic is its Presence passive, which has two modes. In Consuming Presence, you lose 5% of your HP per turn, but all your skills gain additional base damage, bonus, and crit, basically doubling your damage output. In Healing Presence, you instead recover 3% of your HP per turn. You can swap between the two types of presence by clicking the widget above the attack button. For farming, just use Obliterate or Dreadblade for solos, and Unholy Shadow for multiple enemies. The main damage rotation for boss fights is the following. First, use Strength Reap, followed by Dark Right, then Inspire Weakness, Obliterate, Cursed Strike, and Dreadblade. When you can't afford the 25% HP costs of Dark Right, swap it for another Cursed Strike. When your HP gets low, you can recover HP by switching to Healing Presence and using Necrotic Shift and Blood Tap. Use Garb of Undeath, Unholy Will, and Edge of Death for additional survivability. Note that Edge of Death does not provide immunity to damage over time effects, though you can work around this with either Necrotic Shift and Healing Presence or by simply shielding the skill that applies a DOT. In terms of stats, at level 90, you generally want to use 200 Intelligence, 200 Endurance, and then some combination of Luck, Wisdom, and Charisma for the remaining 45 points. Int is used as the main stat, as Death Knight gets passive plus crit from Consuming Presence, and Obliterate is a decently high damage auto crit. 200 End is useful for survivability and immobility resist, though you can swap it with 200 Luck for more damage. The main strength of the class is its combination of excellent sustain and damage output. Its offensive rotation gives Death Knight comparable damage output to low MP Technomancer or Ascendant. Three decent defensive skills and excellent healing give it survivability for long fights. In addition, thanks to its Relic Barrier passive, the class has maxed out light and dark resistance by default, letting it trivialize bosses that only deal light or dark damage. Its main weakness is that it's basically locked into using Death Knight relics, preventing you from using better gear, resistance stacking, or gear swapping. Another weakness is that you cannot maintain your high damage output over a long period of time, and must spend significant time turtling between burst cycles, as your offensive rotation comes at a significant HP cost. That being said, the class is still one of the best for bossing due to its good defense-offense balance and good healing. This concludes the Death Knight Guide. For a more in-depth description of how the skills and passives work, check out the links in the description. What are your thoughts about Death Knight? What classes or topics would you like to see guides for next? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, and good luck!